Hello groomers, this is Jesse from Oklahoma and today I want to talk about a common problem that I hear about which is putting the cutter blade back in your blade if it comes out, let's say you're cleaning it and you push it too far to the side and it comes out well a lot of times this little blade guide here will come out also you can see that there this little blade guide comes out and uh, you're wondering how to get all three pieces back together well I don't recommend messing with this spring very much because you don't want to change the tension on your blade because that'll affect how it cuts. So I had a, I found a tip that I got from another sharpener and friend of mine, Don Bailey, shout out. <laughs> Is if you take the blade guide, blade slide, whatever you want to call it, and you'll take the grooves part of it and you'll slide it into the, you can see this here, the edge of the spring and just put the very first part of that in there like that. Well, let me see very first part of it in there like that where it's hanging off like that if you can see how well you can see that but what I'm doing I've got this groove going into the edge of that spring there on the corner you can see that or not hopefully you can uh, then if you'll take oh by the way this is also a great time to oil your blades while you're doing this so put a drop here here on the back rails and put a drop of oil on top of the cutter blade there in that little groove anyway so now you have your blade guide propped at the edge of the spring there like that. So take your cutter blade and you'll match the groove in the cutter blade up to where that blade guide is on the side of the blade there. You can see this here. And you'll just slide it up there and it'll go right up under there. And then if you'll push it, it'll push the blade guide in and the cutter. Everything's back in place. Nice and easy peasy. Alright. Anyway, that's a neat trick I, I learned and I thought I'd pass it on. I hope that helps somebody. Thanks.